what is creative withdrawal like? So I have started enjoying sharing what withdrawals are like because a lot of times when you're going through withdrawal, you don't know what to expect and you wanna quit this drug, you wanna quit something, but you're not sure how your body or how your brain's gonna be affected by it, by just literally stopping something. And Kratom is one of those drugs that, it's a drug, but it's also a supplement. A lot of people have talked about the positive benefits of Kratom. There's three main kinds, green, white, and red Kratom. All of them affect your system in different ways. It was never one of my drugs of choices, but it was something I ended up going through withdrawals with because I was trying to seek out something that was a little bit different than an SSRI because antidepressants have the opposite effect with me. And I heard positive things about Kratom, how it will boost your mood, how it boosts um, just how your body feels. It boosts your energy. So I wanted to try this to see if it was something that would help me. And I ended up going through withdrawals with green Kratom and with red Kratom. White Kratom, I didn't really feel withdrawals a whole lot and didn't really know what to expect. And Kratom is one of those touchy ones because anyone who's a heroin or opiate addict will usually bash people on their Kratom withdrawals because they are similar. And I get it if you're a heroin addict and an opiate addict and you've quit it cold turkey, I know that Kratom withdrawal is not the same when it comes to intensity, but they do overlap a lot of similarities. And I know that because I've talked with a lot of different individuals who have went through heroin withdrawal cold turkey. When I went through these withdrawals, I had spoke with them and they were like, yeah, that's very similar similar, why don't you vlog it? So I vlogged it actually a while back of when I went through the withdrawals, especially of Red Kratom. Here's what to really expect when you are going to get off of this drug. You can try and taper. I don't necessarily always suggest tapering when it comes to something like Kratom. When it comes to heroin, when it comes to opiates, definitely. There's Suboxone out there for it. There's even Methadone out there for it. I mean, there's a lot of different um, ways to taper. But with Kratom, when I came to those withdrawals, I didn't really get a whole lot of the mental withdrawals. Uh, you have mental withdrawals when it comes to like cocaine. I had really bad mental withdrawals uh, of happiness to depression to anger, and it flip-flopped all over the board. Where with it came to Red Kratom, I didn't have a lot of time for the mental withdrawals because a lot of it was physical withdrawals. And I did it more in a controlled fashion of when I took these. Uh, it wasn't just taking scoops of powder of, of Red Kratom and putting it into a glass and mixing it all up. I was taking capsules. I was taking it twice a day. I was taking four capsules a day. I, I had it really broken down how I was going to take this because I didn't want to have any of the withdrawals and I still ended up having them. And so the withdrawals that I went through, the first one that I think is always underestimated no matter what what you're going through if you get restless legs restless legs are a struggle because you just can't stop your legs from moving it sounds funny almost to talk to somebody about how your legs are frustrating you it's a tightening of the muscles it's a constant movement of your legs and you can't get this urge and this this feeling to go away the only thing i ever found that actually calmed it a little bit were warm baths or something that helped me and i know other people have said that warm baths help them too even sometimes cold baths anything that's changed the whole temperature of your legs just to get a different feeling that they didn't have to move so you go through the rest of his legs i had hot and cold flashes so I was affected extremely by any temperature. If it was hot, I, it wasn't, I was just hot. I was dripping sweat. And if I was cold, it wasn't that I was gonna just put on a sweatshirt. It was, I was wrapping myself up in blankets. Uh, the other thing is, is your loss of appetite you're gonna go through and your inability to go to the bathroom. It's gonna make you constipate. You're gonna constantly feel like you have to go and you can't go. And that's something that's real common with opiates too. The thing that people don't realize or give Kratom enough credit is they do both bond to the same receptors in your brain. So when you do withdrawals from it, your brain is actually accepts this instead of a drug like cocaine or a drug like meth, where all it does is it's a hardcore stimulant. This actually bonds your brain. Your brain accepts this drug into your system. So your withdrawals to it are extremely strong and it essentially is like you have the flu. And if I was to say, how, do you, how would you judge the withdrawals between the two? I felt like I had the flu. I felt like I was getting over the flu, um, just body aches. You're going to start feeling pain in your body that you never really felt before because it does numb pain for you. I mean, that's one of the things that people will take red kratom because they can't get opiates or they can't get heroin. Uh, they can get red kratom really easily because a lot of places it's sold just at a vitamin store to replace that supplement. But again, it's something that can be abused. So you're going to have these withdrawals that are going to go through that your whole body, you're going to feel every ache and pain. And I never really thought that was true when I was taking Kratom until I realized when I got off of it, how much my body actually does kind of hurt. And I'm not young. I was in my thir late thirties when I got off of this and I started feeling body pains left and right that I never even knew I had. I had a lot of lower body, like lower back pain that I started feeling. So you're going to start feeling all the aches and pains in your body. Your whole system's going through a whole change when you start withdrawing from these. 
and these withdrawals, especially with like the red kratom, it hit hard for one, two days. By seven days, the withdrawals were pretty much gone for me. Where, again, if you're cold turkeying it through heroin, you're cold turkeying it through opiates, your withdrawals are going to last a lot longer. They're going to be a lot stronger. But you're going to go through withdrawals with Kratom. So don't discount it as a drug. Don't discount it as withdrawals. And one of the things that will help and it helped me is being able to talk to people about it. It's as weird as it sounds, being able to talk to people about it, to voice your frustration, to voice the pain helps out a lot and it just it calms your your head factor down it calms that depression down it calms that urge to want to get more just to get this pain to stop temporarily so reach out for help if you're going through this i have links down below to na and AA. both are great programs that can help you out there's a lot of different rehabs out there too inpatient outpatient rehabs and it's finding what works for you because anything that you do get addicted to it destroys your life. It changes your life. Your life starts to revolve around that instead of you living life. And that's one of the saddest things about when it comes to any kind of addiction is that it steals away everything from you. So if you are struggling out there, comment below, hit the like and subscribe button. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And just be prepared. If you are taking Kratom and you don't think it's going to affect your system just like I did, you will notice an effect. It's inevitable. White Kratom, I didn't feel much of an effect at all. Green Kratom, I felt a little bit. Red Kratom, I felt a lot. And I wasn't taking a lot. And that's the thing is withdrawal to everybody is different based on the amount that we take and based on who we are. And that's one of the struggles is when we are going through this, you don't think anyone can understand. And you also do get judged sometimes by other addicts because the only true experience we have with withdrawals is our own. And all we can do is listen to the stories of others. But know that no matter what you're going through, don't discount what you're going through. It is a struggle. It is a fight. But you got this.